For years, Europe has been working toward a bold vision, the creation of its own sixth-generation advanced fighter jet, designed to be the continent's future shield in the skies. However, what began as a symbol of unity and technological strength has increasingly turned into a story of rivalry, political infighting, and strategic mistrust. The Future Combat Air System, also known as the Future Combat Air Defense System, is a major European defense initiative. Launched in 2017 by France and Germany, with Spain joining in 2019. Valued at around 100 billion euros, approximately 117 billion US dollars. The program aims to develop a sixth generation fighter system by 2040 to replace aging fleets like the French Raffle, German Eurofighter Typhoon, and Spanish models. The FCS ecosystem includes a next generation fighter stealth aircraft, swarms of autonomous drones, and a combat cloud designed to link all systems through network-centric warfare. The project is led industrially by Dassault Aviation, heading aircraft design, Airbus, Germany, managing system integration, and Indra, Spain, responsible for sensors and electronics. Symbolically, FCS represents Europe's push for defense autonomy, reducing reliance on American technologies like the F-35. Funding and Development The FCS program is divided into phases 1A to 1B, with approximately 3.2 billion euros already funded. A demonstrator aircraft is expected to make its first flight between 2028 and 2029. The project's long-term goal is to field operational aircraft by 2040. However, from the very beginning, the program has been mired in disputes. Echoing past failures like the Eurofighter, Raffle Split, where national ambitions clashed with the dream of a unified European jet. The core controversy, control, work share, and power. The biggest tension revolves around industrial leadership and intellectual property, IP, writes. France, through Dassault is accused of seeking up to 80% control over key design and technology areas, which Germany views as turning FCS into a French-led project funded with German money. Germany demands balanced participation, as per the original trilateral deal, warning that any deviation could collapse the entire project. Meanwhile, Spain tries to maintain neutrality while safeguarding its share in sensors and electronics. Dassault CEO accused Belgium of double-dealing, criticizing its decision to purchase 11 additional US F-35 jets on top of its 2018 order. Trapier argued that countries cannot reap FCS benefits and European jobs while simultaneously buying American aircraft. Industrial and Political Struggles Beyond national rivalries, industrial tensions between Dassault, Airbus, and Indra have slowed progress. Dassault, France, prioritizes sovereignty and wants control over the fighter's core design and nuclear deterrence capabilities. Airbus, Germany, insists on equal partnership and open technology sharing, but also blocks exports to protect sensitive German tech. Indra, Spain, supports the original balance but acts as a mediator amid France-Germany friction. Belgium, the new partner, remains mostly financial, not technical. Yet its F-35 deal has raised questions about its loyalty to the European project. The road ahead, uncertain but crucial. The phase two decision, expected by late 2025, will determine the future of FCS. Supporters see it as essential for Europe's sovereignty, NATO's edge, and industrial independence. Skeptics including analysts and defense forums warn that the project might collapse like past multinational ventures, forcing nations back toward US systems.
like the F-35 or fragmenting European defense efforts altogether. Conclusion The future combat air system remains one of Europe's most ambitious defense projects, aiming not just to build a sixth-generation fighter, but to forge a united industrial and strategic front for the continent. Yet, as it stands, national ambitions, export restrictions, and mistrust threaten to derail this vision, unless the partner nations can resolve control disputes and align priorities. FCS risks becoming another lesson in Europe's struggle for unity, while competitors like GCAP and the US. Next generation air dominance program race ahead, The coming months, and particularly the October 2025 diplomatic talks, may well decide whether FCES becomes Europe's future in the sky or just another missed opportunity in defense history.